Hello guys, so today's video is such an exciting video and if you haven't been to my channel before, welcome, my name is Jace and today I have such an exciting video, it's another Essence video and you guys know how much I love Essence and how much I recommend the brand to you guys. So back in April, I flew to Cape Town here in South Africa to shoot a very exciting campaign and I still cannot believe that I am even part of it. So today I will be sharing with you my flawless foundation routine using the brand new Essence Insta Perfect Foundation. I love this foundation you guys, it is so affordable, it sits so beautifully on the skin, it is so comfortable yet matte looking and just looks like your skin can really be perfect this naturally so let's just jump into it and I'm going to show you how I do this flawless foundation routine using the brand new Essence Insta Perfect foundation. Alrighty so I already did my brows and my eye makeup because I primarily want to focus on my face today in achieving a Insta Perfect flawless foundation so let's just focus on that for today but I will share with you what I have on my eyes throughout this video. I did use all Essence products, by the way. I used the bronzer in my crease that I'm gonna to use today, as well as the blush, um, but I will link everything down below if you guys are curious to know what I used. So for my face, I exfoliated and moisturized before I did my eyes, so that can kind of like sink into the skin. And then I go in with a primer. This is my favorite one at the moment. It is the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. It has a healthy glow with a pore minimizing effect. Also with vitamin complex and cranberry water. So I'll just apply that all over my face. I love this primer. This is my favorite primer at the moment. I love the luminosity of it and how it like amplifies the foundation and how it gives you that like glow from within type of look. So speaking about foundation, the star of the show and um, the foundation that I'm going to be using today is the Essence Insta Perfect Liquid Makeup. It has a strong matte effect, it's waterproof, and it has a medium to buildable coverage. I currently have it in the shade 40. This matches my skin perfectly at the moment because I am a little bit fake tanned. But what I love about this foundation is that they extended the shade range with an essence because I know so many of you have always complained um, and commented on my video saying that you really love essence but you can never find your shade. So I'm so happy um, to be part of this campaign and to just, you know, have more people experience Essence with me because I just love the brand so, so much. So what I'm gonna do with this is just bounce this onto my skin with a damp beauty sponge. So as I said, it has a medium to buildable coverage. And what I love about this foundation is the fact that you can kind of do it um, very natural and light where your pickles, your pickles, <laughs> freckles kind of peek through a little bit. And sometimes I really like that look, but I stepped a little bit out of my comfort zone today with my eye makeup because I wanted to show you how flawless this foundation can look since we are doing like a flawless foundation routine. So I'm not particularly focusing this foundation too much like under my eyes because I will go in with concealer so I'm gonna do a second light layer and I'm gonna do it straight on my skin this time so this is two layers of the Essence Insta Perfect foundation and while that kind of sits and mattifies I quickly wanted to share my thoughts with you guys and as I mentioned I wanted to kind of wait a little bit for it to mattify and the first thing that I noticed with this foundation is it has like a dewy finish and allows you enough time to kind of place it on the skin and blend it onto the skin before it completely like mattifies. Um, I find with some foundations that you have to work so quickly um, because the formula is just so drying and sometimes it looks patchy and cracky and that is not the case with this foundation. It is moisturizing enough and allows you enough time to blend it and then you kind of just have to wait 
let it sit or you can just set it with powder straight away. So I didn't apply too much of the foundation under my eyes. Um, so I have a lot of uh, freckles like peeking through, but I did apply a little bit on my nose. And as you can see, I have some freckles peeking through, but the skin looks so beautiful, so healthy. And as if my skin could naturally just be this perfect. And then I prefer to kind of stay away from too much product under my eyes and layering too much product, like primer, foundation, concealer, powder. I feel like my, you know, cr it creases too much under my eyes. So I didn't put too much of the foundation under my eyes because I was planning on doing some concealer. And this one is the Essence Camouflage Full Coverage Concealer. And I have it in the shade 10 Nude. I will go ahead and apply this in my T-zone where I normally do it like under my eyes, sides of my nose, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, Cupid's bow and my chin. And then I like to take just a little bit to snatch my cheekbone. We'll start by blending out like the bottom part, so underneath the cheeks. And then I will do my eyes at the very last. I kind of want the product just to sit there for a second. So I'll blend the edges being very careful around the eyes. And then I'll take a very like dense, smaller brush and I'll go ahead and just blend out this concealer. And then quickly before that creases, I'm gonna go in with the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. And I am just going to take a little bit on my beauty sponge and press it. And then taking a big fluffy brush and this Essence Mattifying Compact Powder in the shade 30 Medium Beige. This is the exact shade I used for the foundation. So just matching that and just bouncing like a teeny tiny bit over that foundation. Because you don't want to go too crazy with the powder because this foundation is already mattifying. And then for bronzer, I'm using another mattifying compact powder. This one is in the shade 50 True Caramel. And I like to use darker compact powders for my bronzer and contouring. So I'm just taking like a medium sized fluffy brush and I'm just going to warm up my face and give it a healthy sun-kissed look. So this is the bronzer that I used in my crease. You can see there's kind of like a brownie orange shade going there. And I just used this as my transition shade as well. And then I'm just taking this brush that I used for my crease and transition shade. I used the exact same mattifying compact powder as I did for my face, as I said. So I just quickly re it into that powder and I'm basically just like stippling and carving out my nose just to like snatch it and like tie everything together. Sometimes if I finish my look and I apply my lip last, my skin can kind of look a little bit washed out. So since I'm doing a little bit more of a bolder look, I wanted to do that quickly and then I will finish my face. So just quickly for my lips, I'm using the Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in the shade 09 Going Steady and I'm just going to quickly outline my lips with that. And then for my actual like lip color, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I kind of wanted to like incorporate a little bit of this color that I'm wearing and tie the eye look together. So the bronzer kind of looks a little bit orange um, and then that pink on the lid. Um, so I just started with like a brownie nude and I think I might just mix some of the shine, shine, shine. So the blush that I'm using is the matte touch blush in the shade Bury Me Up. This has been a favorite for literally ever you guys so I'm just going to put that on the apples and then I also want to take that blush because that is the shade that I used for my eyes and I just want to fix 
any of the lower shadow okay and then finally finishing off with some highlighter this is the glow to go palette and i'm gonna use this golden shade like on the tops of my cheeks over here and on my temples and then i'm taking my blush brush and using this pinky shade and just giving some shimmer to this blush a little bit. And then to lock all of that in, I'm using the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. This is my favorite part. And then I just like to bounce my beauty sponge onto that setting spray, just to make sure that none of the like setting spray particles like, get stuck. So I just like to spread it evenly. So that is everything you guys I really hope you enjoyed this video I am so excited about this campaign it is literally a dream come true I don't think I've ever been this excited in a video before but you guys just my joy in my heart is just like oh, over the roof in the roof whatever you call it so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe and I hope to see you in my next few essence videos I'm gonna do a couple more and I mean I do so many essence videos I have so many new products to try so make sure you subscribe thumbs up this video if you didn't already and thank you so much for your love and support without you this would not be possible 100% and I thank you guys. So until next time, I love you so, so much and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye.